Okay, so this is my um, Panerai 233 um, Luminor GMT with the um, the eight day um, in house movement. with the uh, display back where you can see the movement in the back right here. Looks pretty simple. Um, the Luminor series is, uh, this one is 44 millimeter dial with the uh, crown guard. Um, it has a uh, 1950 case with um, a dome crystal. Yeah, you can see the dome. So at some angle, um, the numbers look distorted. See, like right there, number six. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. It also has the date function and the uh, the power reserve um, display on the front. The GMT marker I, I haven't said it but it's it's running with the um, the hour hand um, I'm at home so there's no need to reset it any, anyways and uh, I don't like to do the 12 hour GMT anyways I prefer the 24 hours like my uh, never time of world but it could be convenient if you're on a trip or something Mm. The strap I put on an uh, aftermarket strap, and it looks a ton. It looks like 1,000% better. The watch really stands out um, with the uh, with the new strap. It's 24 millimeter all the way. Um, the 230 has a. Uh, it's not the old strap changing where you have to. S stick like a um, pocket knife or something in there to get the uh, little um, spring thing out just simply push a button now and it just pops right out so it's a lot easier and uh, you don't have those um, scratches when you slip or when you mess up with the uh, strap change so that's nice Like I say, it's an eight day um, hand wound movement, but um, I've heard it goes up to 10 days before all the uh, power reserve is out. So that's pretty nice. The, um, the bezel part is polished, whereas the case and the um, crown guard is uh, brushed stainless steel. back this part is uh, polished it's it's a heavy watch it's heavier than my uh, 190 the uh, the radio mirror it's very thick also when you wear it on your wrist it's you certainly know that it's there So yeah, uh, I've had a total change of heart on this one. Um, with the OEM uh, black strapped, uh, I wasn't really digging it, but with the aftermarket on it, it looks really nice. So I might just keep it for a while. Not sure how I can keep both this one and the 190 though. But the 233 has is the first. Panerai with its in-house movement, and I think they made improvement on the uh, previous series where the power reserve would get stuck, like four days left. I think they fixed it with that uh, with this K series, hopefully. All right.